So Google has released Android 13 Beta 3 for the public and in this video I'm going to share with you the new changes we are going to see and if you're new here just give this video a thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and without further ado, let's just dive into the video. So in this beta version there is no much to talk about but the first I noticed in the few changes we are seeing so far is when after installing the Android 13 you are going to get this pop up right here in the notification section and it reads starting an Android 13 apps that you install needs your permission to send notifications tap to change permission for existing apps then you tap on it and it's going to take you to your app notification and you are going to be able to just change your pair app notification you feel like you want in case you want some apps to just send you notifications not really often you can just turn and off and on pair how you feel you want the app to work and that is pretty much very cool again the update size came around 2.11 gigabytes coming from the june patch we actually installed recently so in case maybe you're coming from the june patch you're going to see a, a size sort of this if you're using the pixel 6 it probably should be closer to this or maybe lesser than that and then the next changes i also noticed was within the fingerprint and we have some new animations right here you can see how it's a bit slower than it used to be so first we used to just pop up very quickly but now the animation is a bit slower and then it looks very very cool and even the fingerprint is much much better too and actually coming from june patch i think the fingerprint and this one is a bit similar because the june patch actually brought a very good improvement to the fingerprint scanner and that is pretty much very cool let's check out the next changes that came through so talking more about the home screen then we can see right here that our navigation bar or the gesture bar is actually now a bit thicker and then longer than it used to be we used to have a very small size like this one right here me covering some part of it we used to have it like this but now it's a bit thicker and then also wider than it used to be and that is pretty much very cool i think they are trying to mimic the iphone gesture on navigation bar right here and i think it's pretty much very cool and then when you scroll to the system y2 and then you try searching initially it wasn't working but now it works and then we have a description right here you can now search the web based on what you type only web suggestions that you select are saved in your search history so in case you tap on whatever you said you are actually going to have it as a search history and then you can even delete it right from here and that is pretty much very cool when you try searching something let's say i want to search Derek's tech hub that is my youtube channel and then you can actually search within apps or the play store or whatever so i've typed it right here and then i feel maybe i don't want to search just on google i can scroll down to just tap on youtube like this and it's going to search for it on youtube for me and you can see my channel popping up right here anything you feel you want to search on youtube you can just search through from the system wide and that is pretty much very cool in case you want to search for applications to let's say canva and then you feel like you don't want to search for it in the google search or something you can just tap on play store because it's an app in the play store and you're going to get canva directly in your play store and that is basically very cool so i think system wide is actually doing a very great thing right here and then canva is just for editing videos and then also photos so you can just check it out too let's check out the new changes too that came through so like i said there are no much to talk about but when you go to the settings right here and then you go to connected devices and you tap on connection preference in the beta 2 we actually saw that a pop-up came through that was fast pair which was actually introduced in the google io and now it's not around here but i'm sure it's probably going to come in a stable version because google did highlights on that so i'm sure maybe they are trying to better things and even in the beta 2 it wasn't working when it came through so i think it's better google just take it out and then work on it better and then also the changes i also saw in the settings was within this place and then when you go to display and text size you scroll down you're gonna see we have a thick and then also highlighted the reset button right here initially it was just a clean text like this one right here but now we have a highlight on it and that is basically very cool so one thing i also noticed too within the new android 13 still the gaming dashboard is not working because in android 12 when you go to a game and then you swipe down like this you're actually going to see that the gaming dashboard is actually going to pop up for you to tap and then do your settings within the game dashboard and then also loading games in android 13 is a bit faster than android 12 and all because you can see the time i used in loading this game right here it's a bit faster we can just try it out again and you're going to see how quick and then fast the game is actually going to load initially it doesn't really load quicker like that but in android 13 it actually loads faster and then also very quicker than it used to be so that is one cool thing i think maybe google is actually trying to work on like they promised and it's very very clean and also basically very cool so with stability and performance i think this is actually very great even though it's been just about eight or nine hours since this software was introduced to us but i think the performance is a bit cool than the beta one and beta two and then in terms of being 
stable you can see right here that in june is highlighted that it's part of the stable releases we can just install on our devices so with june and then also the pre-release of the final version that will come in july we can both install these ones but the previous ones were a bit baggy and then had a lot of problems i was having challenges my phone restarting a couple of times and that was something i didn't really like so i think maybe google has actually started that. but in case i see anything i'm just gonna make a video for you guys to know how the android 13 is actually firing my phone so if this video was very helpful just give it a thumbs up and then you can check out this video right here in case you missed the june patch for the google pixel or check out below too in case you want to know more android apps you can install on your devices and also enjoy your phone and without further ado i'm just going to catch you in the next video peace